Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. A topic that comes up every so often, I'm asked about it, not infrequently, is the topic of anti-aging. Anti-aging science, anti-aging medicine. What's it all about? Is it similar to what I teach and educate on? And this is something that I've thought about, and yes, I do think there's overlap between anti-aging and my own specialty of lifestyle medicine and metabolic health. Absolutely, there is overlap. But I really want to make this short video to talk to you about a crucial scientific concept which I would like you to remember when it comes to the whole issue of anti-aging. Anti-aging, hey, it has something of a shady reputation. And a lot of this goes back to the turn of the last century, the beginning of the 20th century, when Rockefeller got involved in medicine, he wanted pharmaceutical dominance. He sought to make sure that the narrative was always that the answer to problems in healthcare and medicine lies with pharmaceutical solutions. Everything else is quackery. If you think holistically, if you want natural remedies, it's quackery. You are a quack. And we still see a lot of that today, because what could be more threatening for the pharmaceutical industry than natural cures and people trying to seek cures which are not through their expensive drugs. And of course, anti-aging is something they're very concerned about because if people truly target the aging process and are trying to stop that, then they won't need pharmaceuticals for a lot longer. Maybe they'll never need pharmaceutical products if they're doing all of the right natural things. So that is why even today, anti-aging has something of a very shady reputation. There's no such thing according to the medical establishment. But I want to tell you that there is such a thing as considerably slowing down the aging process. And that is by targeting those metabolic health parameters. Let me digress for a moment and say that anti-aging and the secret to quote unquote immortality is something that many people for thousands of years have been obsessed with. Think about those old kings and emperors, the legends, the folklore. Isn't it legend that one of the all-powerful Chinese emperors dispatched a group of people across the sea to find the secret to immortality? Those ancient Chinese emperors were looking for the legendary Alexa. That's what they were after. And legend has it that those people who never came back from their mission across the sea went on to found Japan. Who knows if that is true or not? Regardless, Let's get to the main point here, because I digress there, but I want to impart on you a crucial scientific concept that I would like you to remember when it comes to the topic of quote-unquote anti-aging. This is a simple scientific term, oxidative stress. Oxidative stress. Please remember that because it is going to be the basis of many things that we talk about in the future. In fact, I've already done a lot of lectures on this topic. So what is oxidative stress? Well, in a nutshell, it is an imbalance between the reactive oxygen species produced in your body from the thousands, millions of chemical reactions that are going on at any one time, an imbalance between the reactive oxygen species, which are very damaging, and the body's ability to detoxify those reactive oxygen species, which go by many different names, including free radicals. So why is this a problem? Well, oxidative stress is very undesirable. It is implicated in many processes which we don't want to happen, like inflammation, chronic disease, neurodegeneration, dementia, cancer, and yes, aging. It is implicated in aging. And if we can target oxidative stress and slow it down, then yes, we will in effect slow down the aging process. Is it possible to reverse age, to be immortal, like those old kings and emperors wanted? Not right now anyway, not in 2023. Who knows what the future will hold, but I think it's unlikely for a very long time. But is it possible to considerably slow down aging? To make 80 the new 60? To make 60 the new 40? To make 50 the new 30? Absolutely, that is very possible. And I think there is considerable overlap with optimizing metabolic health because it's all about slowing down and reducing oxidative stress. And when you do that, you target many of the processes which cause undesirable consequences. And we'll talk much more about the science in the future, the science of mitochondria, etc., which overlaps with this. 
But for now, I would like you to remember oxidative stress because I think in future more enlightened times, when medical establishments around the world are much more enlightened, when they truly focus on health and not pharmaceutical products, oxidative stress will be the very fundamental from which all health advice and even medicinal products stem from. It's all about trying to stop oxidative stress. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you heard of oxidative stress? Feel free to comment. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are also down below. Dr. Sunil Dand, hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.